So what we're at here is this is the Duke Hardwood Ameriflex Tower. This is part of a network of um, research sites across the United States that are measuring um, carbon and water exchange above forest canopies, or above a number of different types of vegetated canopies, but this one's looking at a forest. This particular forest is a old hardwood stand, a deciduous mix, mixture of deciduous species, mainly oak and hickory with some sweet gum and tulip poplar. Um, it's probably about 80 to 100 years old, um, the stand of trees, and um, we're trying to measure a couple of different things here. We're looking at um, fluxes of carbon dioxide um, starting from the forest floor up through the tree trunks and out to the leaves. We're also looking at the water water inputs including the precipitation that comes in um, and then water evaporation that leaves uh, again to the forest floor and is uh, transpired through trees. So we have a number of different measurements. Some are located on the ground or at the tree level so we can then scale those up to the canopy. There's also measurements, um, equipment uh, that are um, set up along the at, at the top of the canopy, they can then measure the flux of water, the exchange of, of water vapor and carbon dioxide uh, across the canopy level. So it provides sort of a large scale footprint of what's happening um, at the landscape scale. So this tower is 45 meters tall. Uh, it needs to be this high so it can extend above the top of the canopy. Uh, most of the trees here are about 35 meters tall, but they extend a little bit higher than that. We want to have the top of the canopy excuse me, at the top of the tower above the canopy so we can measure the amount of rainfall that's coming in above the canopy as well as the exchange of gases, uh, carbon dioxide gas and water vapor um, above the entire canopy level. So we'll go up now and have a look. Okay. So we're up near the top of the uh, Duke Ameriflex Tower here. Um, you can see Blackwood Mountain off in the distance there. And this is one of our uh, measurement devices here. This is a um, this is a sonic anemometer, and a, an, this is a setup for an eddy flux system. What this can do is measure wind speed and direction um, at very high resolution, very fine scale, um, as well as there's a temperature measurement thermocouple down there. This will also measure the um, concentrations of carbon dioxide and water vapor in the atmosphere at a very high frequency and can compare the wind direction and speed along with the gas concentrations to determine if there's a net flux of water vapor and carbon dioxide coming into or going out of the forest canopy. You can see the mixed species across this landscape here. Look up in the distance, you can see Chapel Hill. And I'm going to zoom in because we can actually see one of the base rings off in the distance there. You can see the towers that supply carbon dioxide throughout the canopy of a Loblolly pine forest. It looks a little bit like Stonehenge, um, but it provides concentration into the center of those rings. CO2 concentration in the center of those rings. there.